So in this video I've tried my very best to recreate the experience I had on August 21 this year when I witnessed a total solar eclipse. Ever since I was a child I've always wanted to see a total solar eclipse. I think this began at one point when I saw a painting, not this painting but a similar one. And I immediately knew that at some point in my life I have to see a total solar eclipse. The problem though is that if you just wait for it, it will take on average 500 years before the total solar eclipse reaches your town. So basically if you want to experience one, you will have to travel. So a couple of years ago when I reviewed the different options, I decided to go for the one in the United States, the summer of 2017. I decided to go to the town of St. Joseph because it is on the middle of the path of totality and it is close to a major airport. And this would give me a total of 2 minutes and around 40 seconds of total darkness. The depressing thing though was that when I arrived in St. Joseph on the day of the solar eclipse it was very cloudy and rainy and I wasn't too optimistic about what kind of experience I was going to have and neither were the people around me. Everyone was quite quiet and not really that excited about the solar eclipse. It seemed mostly like no one had any expectations at all because of the bad weather. Luckily though, at least it stopped raining before the eclipse was about to start. I think the news guy offers the refund. <laughs> yeah. See, he was hiding behind the camera. You know what he was doing? He doesn't want us to line up for the refund. I chose to uh, witness the eclipse from a small private airfield because in a place like this you have a good view towards the horizon in many directions. And uh, as we will see uh, near the horizon, the really interesting stuff happens. There is a really really big difference between a partial solar eclipse and a total one. Now with just a minute until totality, which means complete darkness, uh, the only thing you notice from the eclipse is that it is slightly slightly darker than normal and still about 99% of the sun is covered. So the really interesting stuff will happen when we go into totality. Is it gonna get dark? It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Yeah, it's happening now. The streetlights are on. The streetlights are on. The streetlights are coming on. The streetlights are coming on. This is it. This is this is this is it. What time is it? I saw a corner. I saw a corner. What time is it? I saw a corner. One of four. Oh, it's at the left. Look how suddenly it's dropping. Look at sunset. Look at sunset. I'm gonna stay quiet now for the rest of the eclipse so that you can experience in a way that is close to how I experienced it, even if you cannot really reproduce the feeling through a video. Oh, 
So that was it. That was two minutes and 40 seconds of totality. And it might not have looked very impressive to you, but uh, to me and everyone else at this place, at this day, it was a very powerful experience. And uh, I couldn't stop thinking about the experience for like 24 hours after it happened. It, it was really, really striking in some way. And uh, I immediately also felt that I would like to go see another total eclipse. Maybe one without as many clouds as there were on this particular day. Because what I missed out on completely was seeing the stars and uh, the corona of the sun. We only glimpsed it for like a second. And I'm sure the experience would have been even stronger if we would have had a completely clear sky. Another thing I noticed, which is testament to the power of this experience for everyone on the scene, was that afterwards there was a completely different mood. Before, most people were quiet and kept to themselves, and afterwards everyone was talking and socializing and uh, talking about the experience and planning further solar eclipse experiences. This guy he has seen every major total eclipse since the 80s, and now, when I witness one myself, I kind of understand why he does it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't just see it. Clock, yeah, I, I yeah. barely saw it. But just for a fraction yeah. of a second. Yeah, just a moment when it got yes, clear. Yes, yes, yes. Just for a fraction of a second, the corona was visible. Yeah. But the coolest thing about today, I think, was the horizon. Absolutely. When you saw the sunset Absolutely. all over. Yes, yes, yes. And that was, I was almost yeah. got tears in my eyes. It was so exactly. cool. In previous solar eclipse experience, yeah. my total attention was only on the sun. Yeah. But since today it was a cloud cover, I knew that I won't be able to see the eclipse. Yeah. So I kept on paying attention yeah. to the others. And, that's, <laughs> and that was a different experience <laughs> altogether. Yeah. So all in all, I'm really, really happy that I did this and I can strongly recommend you to see a total eclipse for yourself. Please subscribe if you want more of my videos.